Savior, may he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from your side as, as he hung upon the cross. So, after his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of this bath, of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, we ask you now to renew the vows of your own baptism. You'll be asked to reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus, because this is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So, do you reject Satan? I do. We do. And all his works. I do. I do. And all his empty promises. I do. And do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. And do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. I do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, Joey, the moment has come. Um, somebody needs to hold the towel. Okay. Okay, I'll hold that. Yes, do you want to help? Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, he's a big boy. And I need to ask a final question. Is it your will that Joseph Luke should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Just let, uh, put his head over the farm okay. and I'll pour the water three times. Okay. Joseph, okay, Joseph Luke, we won't hurt you. We won't hurt you, I promise. Look, look at the water, Joe. Look. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. We need the towel. Towel, Anthony, towel. Okay, dry his head. Dry his head. Dry his head, babe. There you go. Thank you. Nice job. Good job. Nice Good job, job, Anthony. Nice job. Nice job. Good job. Good job. You know, it wasn't too bad. Nice job, Joe.
It's almost like taking a bath. Way to go. Okay, this is a, a second anointing. And this is with what we call sacred prism. Um, anointing with prism is the same oil that we use at confirmation. The bishop uses it at confirmation. And that's how the, how the, uh, the sacraments are linked. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. 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 Anthony, can you put that around Joey's neck? Joseph Luke, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. That's why we needed the candle lit. <laughs> Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. With the Lord, when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in this heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth To, re to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Joey, you have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Alleluia. Alleluia. Can you say that? Alleluia. Alleluia. Not Reg yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Dearly He's beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called a child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, we have um, one last thing we need to do before we uh, conclude our, our service, and that's to give a blessing. And we have three blessings. The first blessing, is over the mother of this child. God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with, with him in thanking God forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. amen. And now, um, over the Father. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. And by God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn 
to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. And may he send his peace upon all of us who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may I present to you our newest member of the Catholic faith, Joey Luke Zengrilli. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Boy, he's not, he didn't cry on that. That's amazing. Say thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Can you smell that prism? <laughs> it smells wonderful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like yeah. Yeah, like the, the, last, the last thing you got from the second cup smelled, it smelled like, it smelled like some lunch <laughs> <Smell like cilantro. laughs> <Smell like cilantro. laughs> Now, wait, wait, let's ask Deacon Larry what we should do with the candle, how we should blow it out so we are careful. Yeah, you can blow out the candle.